Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What's up, guys? Uh, welcome to the video. Welcome to the stream. My name is Corey. It is Monday morning. It's another Monday morning here in Tokyo, Japan. It's Japan, guys. Are we live? It looks like we're alive. Uh, I'm going to just keep talking. But uh, good morning. Welcome to the stream. I hope you guys had a really nice weekend. Uh, my weekend was pretty good. Uh, Sasha, you're the first person I see in the chat on my phone. What's up? Um, Jason, aloha, brother. How's it? What's going on? Generic Blue Ninja, good morning. Uh, Ashley, how are you? Uh, Chris, good morning. Ohayo gozaimasu. Um, Frank, how are you doing? Cylon, yes, I am live. Mike, Hawk, how are you? Jen Soroka, what's up? How are you doing? Uh, Looky Lou, hello, hello. With the waving emoji. Uh, Scarecrow, how are you? Liz, what's up, Liz? Uh, Emmanuel, uh, D, I don't know how to say your name still. D, Y, D, what's up? Um, guys, we need some hearts in chat right now. My mom, Kijime, is in the chat. Hi, mom, how you doing? Hope you're doing okay. Hope dad's doing okay. Hope John Wayne is doing okay. Uh, Nick, teacher, what's up, man? What's up? Annyeong, annyeong. Uh, Timothy, how are you? Becca, good morning. Sid Pernicious, uh, that dog hates you. What's poppin', man? What's poppin'? Not much. You know, it's Monday morning. Uh, Bunny in the house. What's up, Bunny? How you doing? Bunny's floating right now. Um, Rue, what's up, Rue? Michael Tada, good morning. Inca Bear, um, Kakigori, ohayo gozaimasu. Yeah, nice to see so many familiar faces. How you guys doing? Chimpozilla, good morning. Yep, shout out to the Moist fam. Yo, Chuckles, 1981. 1981 is a very good year. That is the year I was born. But uh, I hope you guys have been uh, having a nice weekend. Uh, Kathy3, what's up? Ooh, dinner. Dinner time, huh? Yeah, I hope you guys uh, have been having a nice weekend and stuff. It's probably Sunday evening for most of y'all. It's Monday morning here in Tokyo. It is uh, 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. And uh, today, um, I just want to say this right off the bat. Today's stream is not going to be three hours. It's going to be roughly an hour and a half, um, give or take like 10 minutes or something like that, probably an hour and a half. But uh, today we are starting off in Ichigaya, and um, this is in Chiyoda Ward, Chiyoda City in central Tokyo. It's like the very central part of Tokyo. And um, we're going to be walking from Ichigaya area all the way over to Hibiya. Um, so we're kind of doing like a counter counterclockwise like journey around. So like in the center of Chiyoda is actually the Imperial Palace. And then we're kind of like in the northwestern corner of it. And we're going to go like this to Hibiya. So we're not going to do like a full circle or anything like that. Um, yeah, it's only going to be an hour and a half. Um, I'm meeting a friend who may or may not be in the chat now. She's part of the Moist fam over on the Discord, part of the Minecraft crew. Um, she's visiting from Germany. And so I'm going to link up with her and uh, explore Tokyo a little bit. But so yeah, we're going to be streaming with, uh, I'm going to be streaming with you guys until then. Yo, Camden, how you doing? Um, Tamika Robs, good morning. Sakura Kitana, Becca, how are you? How are you? Yep, uh, Jason says, today's weather is nice compared to yesterday where it was very stormy. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. Um, glad it cleared up. Today is very clear. If you can see here, it's just like no clouds at all. It's nice and blue. Uh, Voltaire, how you doing? I like your name. Um, National Diet Building, that's an interesting name. Yeah, that's, that's basically like capital. Um, the Capitol building um, in, in America, like in DC, they have the Capitol building. Um, here they call it the National Diet Building. Um, I forget why they say diet. I used to know why, but um, anyways, uh, today guys, make sure you click that cog wheel, change it to 1080p resolution. We are streaming in 1080p. Um, if I miss any hellos or goodbyes, uh, comments or questions um, in the chat, I apologize in advance. Um, and uh, what else? Uh, we're going to be looking for dogs and cats. I just saw a dog. Let me let me show you. Uh, I saw there it is. Look at that dog. I see a dog. So that's Inu number one for the stream. But we're going to be counting dogs today. Yeah, so we're going to be counting dogs and cats and stuff today. Um, I don't think we'll see cats, but we might see people walking dogs and stuff. Yo, what's up, Skip? Good morning. Uh, Gloria, good morning, good morning. Yeah, so uh, what else? Um, as we're walking around, if the signal and stuff starts 
cutting out or buffering and stuff, you just hang tight. There's a lot of buildings in this area. It's a very commercial district. We'll be walking through the political district too. So um, I'm not sure how that's going to pan out. There's a lot of security down there. It's, it's like going into DC, Washington DC in America, and you're walking by all the government buildings, the, you know, um, the IRS building, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, like the Prime Minister's house, like all that stuff is down where we're going to be walking today. So I don't know if the police are going to stop me and be like, you can't stream here or you can't go this way or whatever, but we're going to try. And um, I'm going to try to talk a little bit about the, uh, talk a little bit about the history and what I know just off the top of my head as we go along. You guys know how it goes. Um, I hope you have drinks and snacks. Let's start this walk. Yo, Kelsey in the house. What's up, Kelsey? Good morning. What about kangaroos? Yeah, if we see a kangaroo, guys, we need a kangaroo counter. So, all right. Um, ministry of Silly Walks, exactly. They need a Ministry of Magic here, too. But uh, anyways, uh, this is Ichigaya. I am near Ichigaya Station, but I'm on a kind of a back road connecting towards uh, Sophia University. So, um, Chiyoda, Chiyoda Ward on the western side of the Imperial Palace, which is where I'm at. This is kind of like the more, like his. This is kind of where all the, the Shogun's like top dudes and like wealth and stuff lived around here. So there was a lot of businesses back in the day that came people like, um, you know, doing their laundry and cooking food for them and like whatever, like all the servants and, you know, just the normal commoner people um, set up shop and stuff around here to, you know, basically make money off the rich people. So yeah, this is basically a commercial district now. Not too many people live here. I, I believe this is actually the least populated ward out of all of all the wards in Tokyo. <laughs> yeah, the muggles can't see it. That's true. It's probably like right there, but we just can't see it. So right down here, this is uh, Ichigaya Station. And uh, I'm not sure which direction to go. I think maybe I will go this way. Yo, Pink T, how you doing? Yeah, this morning is, uh, it was zero degrees Celsius when I left my house. It's actually really cold in the shade, so I actually should put my gloves on. My hands are cold already. I got my scarf on. Ready to enjoy this walk. Yo, Yash, how you doing? Good morning. Follow my heart, that's true. Yeah, so this is uh, Ichigaya Station right here see the entrance to it but we're gonna go this way yeah I just want I wanted to walk on this side of the street okay let's go this way I need to uh, put my gloves on oh my god it's cold one second yo back in the clay Ohio gozaimasu yeah oh Okay, gloves, gloves. All right, the gloves are on and my little poke finger is there. Okay, we ready? Yep, staying warm. So we're basically going south from Ichigaya. We're just gonna wander around a little bit. Um, I'm not gonna like venture through the alleys so much just because of time. So, It'll be almost like a straight walk. But we'll veer off the path a little bit if we see something kind of interesting, like to the sides of the road or whatever. Yeah, there's um, the Sophia University is nearby. There's um, a famous church there, the St. Ignatius Church. But we're probably not going to see that today, unfortunately. How many of y'all remember me walking on this street before uh, in like 2020 or 2021 and they had their um, stupid campaigns like go to travel, go to eat. And there was one sign that we saw here that's like go to bird. <laughs> Who remembers that? It was on this street. 
Yo, Jamie in the house. What's up, Jamie? Yeah, so most of these businesses and stuff here, they cater towards the office workers because there's a lot of offices here. Um, so lots of little restaurants for lunch and stuff and dinner, um, some bars for people to do their little business drinking dinners and stuff. Yeah, but if I look around, uh, Sasha, you remember? Yeah, I think I remember you in the chat that time. Oh, I did want to mention um, the last stream, my bicycle stream. I do apologize that my stabilizer died early. I thought it was from, um, you know, basically from the bike shaking so much it drained the battery faster, but uh, that's not the case. I actually just forgot to charge my stabilizer, so. Yeah, Mike De Silva, what's up? Yeah, it was the go-to mania. It was so dumb. Go to travel, go to eat, go to hotel, go to, it was like, they were just trying to like do anything to try to make you spend money during the, the pandemic. And then they realized it was dumb. Then they stopped it. Yeah, so this is very commercial district. Yo, what's up, Vin Vin? Uh, back in the clay says, these shops that cater to the office workers have the best deals on bentos. Good for all. Yeah, very true. If you see some of these, uh, like th there's quite a few bento shops and stuff around here. Yeah, they get, they get some really good deals, very delicious stuff for cheap. The, the one problem that I've experienced is just the lines, like so, some of those people uh, that are selling those kinds of bentos will have like pretty long lines because they know, like everybody knows that um, pretty quickly, but uh, it's good. What's up, pink tea? You got your, your food, your rosemary chicken. Get takeout, buy stuff online, also made lots of money. Yeah, well, in Japan in 2020, Japan was like the government and stuff was in denial about COVID. And they were just like, oh, no, like, well, we, you're not going to travel internationally, but we're going to try to make everybody travel domestically. And so they had all these like camp, like discount campaigns called go to travel, go to eat. So you get like these vouchers from the government and you get like discount prices on hotels and restaurants and stuff. and. Yeah, it was, it was so dumb. It was, it was really dumb. Ah, oh, I can't see. It's so bright. Arthuria, how are you? Whoa, that guy could not wait. Is this a restaurant? Yeah, it looks like a cafe restaurant over here. I can't see, it's so bright. Oh, it's bread and pizza. Handcrafted bread and pizza. What kind of stuff do they got here? Oh, they got soup and bread. That looks good. Quinoa salad. Oh, there's avocado toast with fruit salad. Nice. Yo, what's up, Panic? Panic in the house. What's up, man? Yeah, it's a nice sunny day, y'all. Cold in the shade, but nice in the sun. Camden, hope you're enjoying the stream. It's a hipster buffet. Yeah, it looked pretty, uh, pretty swanky. Oh, I see two dogs up ahead. So this is Inu number two, Inu number three. There, two little dogs. Dogs, Wee. What's up, Drake? The days of the basic programming language. I remember learning that like back in like middle school or something. Like ob obviously not like professionally or anything, but it was like, oh, here's, here's a programming language called basic. We'll let you dabble around in it. Of course, I don't remember anything from that time. The Neko count is zero. Um, and even like last stream, there was zero. Um, we haven't really had a lot of good cat days. 
recently. Like I think three weeks in a row or something, there was like really no cats. J vlog ohayo gozaimasu. There's a park over here. There's all these kids. Oh, they've got all the like, uh, like daycare, preschool kids coming to this big park area over here. Oh, I missed a dono. Uh, thank you, Bunny. Um, guys, hearts and chat for Warren for the two, uh, the two dollar dono. It says uh, they wanted to ask if you have ever seen the movie Slam Dunk. Oh no, I have not. Um, I, I used to read the comic back in the day in the weekly Shonen Jump magazine um, back in the, in the 90s, but I never saw the anime and I never saw the movie, especially the new movie. Um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not a sports fan, so like a manga about basketball is just not like my cup of tea, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, that's like really, really popular. There's a lot of slam dunk merchandise and stuff that you can see around in stores and stuff. It's, it's really big, especially because of the movie that came out. I cannot see, it's so bright. Okay, ooh. There's a, a pretty interesting 7-Eleven across the street. Yeah, I'm going to try to walk in the shade as much as possible because it's like almost impossible to see the chat. Um, what is this? Nibancho. Oh, number two. Okay. So, yeah, in this area, as you can see, there's already like a police officer right here on the corner. Um, there's like several embassies and stuff around here. Um... I think this is the right way I want to go. Sunday. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah, anytime I walk in this area, it just kind of reminds me of Washington, D.C., uh, mainly because of how, like, corporate and you know, just like commercial, it feels. And of course, you know, everything political is kind of around this area. You guys doing okay, chat? You recognize everything in the vending machines these days? Yeah. It's not like too many new things that are coming out. Yeah, we're in a Kojimachi area, apparently office building lobby um, yeah, I have to make sure I stop and just kind of look around and show you guys like the buildings too instead of just walking so you guys can get a, an idea of the scenery Jim and Harriet how are you doing what's up Sherry uh, you were going to go pink tea to DC yeah COVID happened <clears throat> Yeah, it's interesting to come here at night, like there's nothing open because it's like I said, it's all office buildings and stuff and all the bit, most of the businesses here cater towards those office workers. So when the office workers are gone, all the businesses shut down for the day and it's like dead. It's like a ghost town around here. Working off a congestion issue. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I have in this morning, so if, if you hear me like, call, apologize in advance. I'm from DC. If you've ever been to DC and you've walked along K Street, K Street or well, not M Street, but yeah, K Street, going all the way down towards uh, the Capitol. 
Pennsylvania Avenue. Kind of has that vibe. Yeah, I think the, the more interesting stuff for me is not around here. It's just like a little further down. Like once we get closer towards uh, Nagatato and whatnot. I keep cutting. Yeah, sorry. Like I said, if uh, if there's any buffering or connection issues because of all the buildings around here, I apologize in advance. Just hang tight. Yeah, so this is uh, definitely the Kojimachi area. This big street passes right through the middle of it. That guy with the backpack's hoofing it? Yeah, he's probably late. <laughs> yeah, if I look down here, see, it's just all buildings, buildings, buildings. Not too bad. All right, thanks, Sasha. So I'm going to try to go down that street across the way. A Monday morning. Uh, most of the commuters that uh, come out this way, they've already arrived at their office. No places to eat there? Oh, there's plenty of places. Uh, there's a lot of restaurants and cafes and other stuff that cater towards the business district here, um, as I mentioned. I live about an hour and a half from DC. Nice, that's like where my parents live, down in Southern Maryland. Mary Jane. Seriously awkward, how you doing? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, we're just Monday morning cruising through a very large commercial district. It's interesting when um, people live in like the DMV, like DC, Maryland, Virginia area. And then when they meet someone from far away or they go somewhere else, they're just like, yeah, I'm from DC. It's like the nearest reference point that people actually like understand, kinda. Even though if they're like from like, from like super far away, like Fredericksburg or something. They're just like, yeah, I'm from DC, but they live like two hours away. Like, what a minute, wait, what? <laughs> Oh, I just noticed um, down the street here, if I look this way, I can actually see Shinjuku. There, can you see the tall building in the distance? Looks like the Empire State Building, sorta. Yeah, that's the NTT Dokomo building in Shinjuku. Yeah, if, you, if you've never lived in the DMV area and you hear DMV, you just immediately yeah, the DC, DC area people and they live in Calvert County. You're like, wait a minute, that's not even close to DC. <laughs> yeah, but I, I imagine it's like that for a lot of places too. Like, you know, you live like in the middle of nowhere, like uh, east of like San Francisco and, and you're just like, yeah, I'm from San Francisco, but you're like nowhere near it. <laughs> <laughs> You're like a three-hour drive away from San Francisco. Yeah, from San Francisco. 
Um, in this area, there's uh, some pretty old uh, houses and stuff here too that are um, you know, pretty old businesses. They've been around for a very long time. Who knows, this house has probably been here for like 100 plus years. Uh, I should have said it more correctly, yeah. DMV is Delaware, Maryland, Virginia. But I know a lot of people also say just like DC, Maryland, Virginia. Yeah, my mom says, give the video a thumbs up, guys. Thumbs up. Yeah, there's a... Looks like this place here is a ramen shop. It's not open right now, but they have um, the ticket machine here. Oh, it's skimming. Dipping noodles. So a lot of places will have these uh, things here. Um, but they're not open right now. We're going to go down this way I'm wondering if I should go this way actually you know what I'm gonna keep going straight this way Chicago's fun I love Chicago I haven't been there in like 1999 that was the last time but yeah walking around like downtown Chicago with all the tall buildings and stuff that's that's such a vibe I love that vibe Yeah, where, where are you from? Chicago, and they're actually from like Joliet or something. I'm like, uh, that's not Chicago. But yeah, um, it kind of happens here too. Like when I meet people for the first time, and I'm like, oh, where are you from? And they're like, oh, I'm from Tokyo. And I'm like, cool, what, what area? And then they're like, oh, Chiba. And I'm like, that's not Tokyo. <laughs> But they just kind of like round up to the nearest uh, like big city area that people know. Uh, interesting building designs if you, you know, if you're walking around Tokyo, just make sure you always kind of like look up a little bit. Because I know a lot of people get stuck with looking at stuff at eye level or on the ground. Oh, there's Tex-Mex food truck. It's not open. Excuse me. Burger and coffee place. Oh, that, that coffee looks really good. There's like blue stuff in it. What is that? Original ice latte with orange and hazelnut syrup coffee jelly. Sorry for the construction noise. Yo, what's up, Jay Karen? How you doing? Ah, oh, yeah. Welcome to the live stream. So it says the embassy of Bangladesh is down here. Um, you can see. That building right there, Embassy of Bangladesh. Got the Bangladeshi flag. Uh, what else is around here? Um, yeah, just some tall buildings, of course. More tall buildings. Yeah, there's, um, there's actually some place that's very cool coming up that uh, hopefully I'm on the right street. <laughs> Morning! Morning! Morning. 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 Your blog? <laughs> blog? Your live stream. Uh, yeah, from YouTube. Yeah, have, where are you from? Philippines. Philippines! Yay, where's? Ma Manila? Huh? Manila? Cebu! Cebu. Yeah. Oh, nice! Huh? No, m many of my friends are Philippines. A Filipino. I, I'm live streaming now, yeah. Hello. Yeah, I love uh, yeah, Lumpia, Dinaguan. Oh, 
Ya, pansit. <laughs> Bye, see you. <laughs> yeah, some friendly Filipino guys. I don't know how to say anything in, in Tagalog, I forgot. It's been so long. So I just started throwing out food names because I didn't know what to say. <laughs> it's just like, I like Dinugon. Pansit. Lumpia. <laughs> oh god. Anyways. Yeah, this area around here. Um I believe there's like a park and a and some nice stuff to see. Actually let me let me go this way. I'm gonna go this way because I think there's a way we can walk through here. If we cut out, I'm so sorry. Yeah, if you guys have not had Filipino food, it is so good. So goddamn good. I'm not a fan of dinuguan. Yeah, dinuguan is basically like pork or goat meat, like cooked in blood. <laughs> um, it's black, but it's so good. I love it. I love it. Yeah, language of food is held by no boundaries. Very true. Wow. I like that we just stepped off the main road and we're just like in the shadow of some tall building there. We're just surrounded by screaming birds. Ah, oh, Kamusta, yeah, yeah, I forgot that. God, it, it's been so long since I said anything in Tagalog, like more than 20 years. So I just forgot everything. Thank you, Mary Jane. What's the sound? Um, there are these screaming birds. Uh, that's basically what a lot of the birds in this area sound like. Uh, one of the species, they just like shriek. It's pretty funny. They're actually kind of cute looking, but yeah, their sound is like god awful. Um, I do want to mention, since it is February, we are starting the ume season, um, the cherry blossom season. Oh, sorry, uh, plum blossom season. So we can see a lot of... Um, Plum blossoms are starting to bloom. So hopefully we get to see more of these. As we walk around. Oh, here's a pink one. Yeah, this is so pretty. So, so pretty. Let me get closer and show it to you guys. Yo, what's up, Tony? Laurie, how are you doing? Yeah, adobo is so good. Chicken adobo made by like a Filipino uh, grandmother or something. Mother. It's just like home cooking. Yeah, so the plum blossoms are out. Well, they're starting to bloom in some areas. But look at that, it's, this one's in kind of full bloom. Hey, what's up, Jane? Since Korea, thank you so much for all the years of support. Korea was like, how long ago was that now? That was like six years ago already. Yeah, but there's a there's this really cool place coming up that um, we're gonna see, and I think you guys are gonna think it's like pretty awesome. I thought it was pretty awesome when I first saw it. Um, over there, this building here, that's the new Otani Hotel very famous hotel. We've actually streamed behind it. Um, there's a, uh, the new Otani Hotel's very famous Japanese garden. It's free to see. Um, we actually went there one time on live stream and uh, yeah, it was really nice. There's like a waterfall and stuff there. Looky Lou says, it looks like I'll be a, uh, it'll be a late season by my house because it's still cold here. My plum blossom tree isn't blooming. Oh no. Uh, Scarecrow says, have you been to Thailand? Yes, I've been to Bangkok twice, um, but that's it. I've never been anywhere outside of Bangkok. I would love to go back and I would love to visit like Chiang Mai and some other places. Jay, you're from Canada, Montreal. It's negative 48 yesterday. Yeah, the cold snaps, guys. Please take care. These cold snaps are like no joke. People are dying. Yeah, so there's this little parkway back here behind this huge corporate building. 
Um, but inside of this one, I, there's, uh, you know, besides apartments, I, I forget which section has apartments, but there's also like a hotel, I think. And there's some shops, like shopping and stuff, some restaurants in here. It's kind of like a plaza thing. interesting sculpture out around here. Yeah, it's kind of a nice little like nature walk thing. Um, it says conservation and restoration of biological diversity by creating biotopes. So it's kind of like a, a little tiny green space, you know, for wildlife to thrive in. And for people working in the offices around here to kind of step away and just get some some green in their lives. Yeah, so there's like nobody. It's so quiet out here. Um, the thing I really wanted to show you guys on this stream, it's actually in the thumbnail of the video is up here. Uh, yo, Costa's World of Music, Jim and Harriet says, enjoy a snack or drink. Guys, hearts in chat for Jim and Harriet. Thank you so much. Arigato gozaimasu. Looky Lou says, uh, the new Otani hotels are fancy. I stayed at one in, uh, where? In Yokohama and Osaka. Yeah, I don't know how much it is for a room per night, but I bet you it's like well, at least 200 maybe. I don't know, something like that. Yeah, but up here, uh, there's this very old looking building. Um, it's very cool. It's very, very cool. And there's a huge statue. It's in the thumbnail of my video and, uh, so I believe there's like a wedding thing, like you can have weddings in there, but there's also a very nice restaurant. And um, yeah, let me, let me just go over here. And I think there's like a rose garden too. God, I can't see. The deer thingy, yes, Vin Vin, the deer thingy. You guys love deer thingies, don't you? I do. Yeah, so obviously it's not uh, rose season right now. So all the rose bushes have been trimmed. We can see it there. Deer back straps, ooh. Yeah, nice little garden space here with the walk through. Um, but yeah, unfortunately we just, there's nothing. No, no roses are blooming. Um, but what's really cool is there's all these different species that they have here. Rosa, Shadow of the Moon. I don't know what species that is. Rosa Lilas. Yeah, lots of different varieties of roses here. Oh, there's a dog coming towards us. Yay! This Inu number four. Why is nobody here? What's up, Anella? Um, they're working. It's Monday. It's not the weekend, and uh, everyone's inside the buildings. You know, they're they're working. <laughs> it's Monday morning. Um, got a nice kind of water feature thing around here too. But uh, what I wanted to show you guys is over here. So it's, it's this, this building. It's, it's like a giant mansion. And then it has this giant like stag sculpture out in front of it. It's pretty cool, huh? So this thing is massive. I'm six feet tall. I'm standing underneath its head here. It's, it's really, really tall. Yo, Ramen Pharmacist, what's up, man? Yeah, this is uh, in Chiyoda. We are, we are very close to Hie Shrine and Sophia University and stuff like that. Um, but check out this place. It's just, it's really sweet. There's a cafe inside. Um, very cool. Yeah. Oh, dear. 
Let me try to zoom in on some of the features of this building because it's really nice. Architecturally, like this place is sweet. Is it a private home? No, it's, uh, it's a business. I, I, I think maybe it was a private home at one time. I, I, I really don't know the history. Yeah, but we can see the, the top there. What's up, Rand? How you doing, Jackson? Yeah, very fancy. Um, we've got some nice windows. Yeah, the roofing is very cool, very pretty. Yeah, so as I mentioned, um, they have weddings and stuff in here. There is a restaurant, there's a cafe. Uh, they have outdoor seating over there too. Yeah, I tried to go in here and then they have a, you know, like a doorman or whatever. And, and they were like, do you have a reservation? I was like, uh, no. And then they're like, oh, you need a reservation to come in. And I was like, what? <laughs> I don't know how it is with the cafe though. I don't know if you need a reservation as well. Very German vibe. Kind, I guess kind of, yeah. Not, not so two door, but. Yeah, this is just such a beautiful place. Oh, Generic Blue Ninja, you stayed in a hotel on the other side of it. Nice. Wait, New Otani? Because it's very close to the New Otani Hotel. Very, very close. Yeah, don't you know who I am? Don't you know? Yeah, so very, very beautiful place here. And what's interesting is it's in the shadow of that big big just like corporate monstrosity right here <laughs> um there's apartment buildings too here right next door these are all apartments it must be really expensive to live here oh the toshi center hotels on the other side oh, okay yeah i don't know how much it costs to live here but yeah this is one of the things i really wanted to show you guys today um, let me try to show you the front of this place and then we'll continue our walk. What's up, Cameron? That dog hates you says, have wanted to stay at the new Hotani Hotel ever since I saw it on Full House. <laughs> Was it on Full House? Yeah, I, I don't know if it's like actually old or if it's just, you know, designed to look really old and cool, but who knows, maybe it was built like in the, in the 80s or something. I really don't know. Yeah, anyways, it's very cool. It, it's still something just like really nice to see, I think. And if you're in the area, it's uh, pretty nice to just kind of swing by and take a look at it, you know, take some pictures. But on the weekends, it's crazy. It's, it's packed. There's like all these people and families and stuff with kids and everyone's like, I don't know, bopping their balonies. No, wait, they're not doing that. I'm sorry. I don't know why I made that joke. That's a bad joke. Yeah, Tokyo Garden Terrace is right back here too. But anyways, let's, uh, let's cross over. We're gonna go towards Nagatacho. And then that's going to be kind of like entering the political district of Chiyoda. So we're going to maybe see like the prime minister's house and like all the other government buildings. So guaranteed there's going to be like heavy police presence. So I'm not sure what they're going to say about me walking around with a, my phone live streaming. If they say anything, I'll just, you know, of course, cooperate and be like, oh, okay, you know, sorry. <laughs> we're just, just trying to go to Hibiya. Yeah, the Kiyo we're in the Kiyoi, I forget, Kiyoi something area. area. So yeah, like, a, like I said about um, this area earlier in the stream, a lot of 
a lot of the rich, like upper class affluent people kind of lived around here. This is like the Yamanote side of Tokyo, of Yamanote side, which is like the rich people. Then there's the Shitamachi side, which is just like all the commoner poor folk and stuff. East side, baby, east side. Um, wow, coffee with the $50, guys. Hearts and chat for coffee, thank you. Your name is coffee. Amazing, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. Yeah, I'll, I will get some coffee in your honor. Um, and for Jim and Harriet too, thank you. Arigato gozaimasu. Wow, 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 wow. Let's, let's keep it going. Yeah, so I'm not sure where all the embassies and stuff are around here, but yeah, we did see the embassy of Bangladesh. Uh, there's a few other ones in this area, but um, yeah, here's a police officer right on the corner here. Uh, oh, here's a... Oh, they do like craft brews in this thing here. It's an Airstream from Oregon. Oregon plates. Yeah, it looks like a nice little space to like chill and have a coffee and a beer. <laughs> Michael, yes. It does. <laughs> the answer is yes. No, just kidding. I was born in the 80s too, so. Um, you're, you're, not a, you're not a dinosaur. Let's see, can I cross here? Yeah, we'll just cross. Okay. They drove, they floated the, they floated it across the, the Pacific. Um, what does this say? Rudolf Lehmann. It's in, is this German? Looks, uh, yeah, I can't read that. Does anybody know what this says? 1935, 300 something something, I don't know what this says. But Rudolf Lehmann, 1935. Anyways, there was some important marker there for that. 3 quarters of the way out of high school in the 80s, nice. Yeah, so this is a uh, Nagata Cho. Nagata Cho station. And so like I mentioned, we're pretty much like in the political heart of Tokyo now. This is yeah, like the the political party headquarters and stuff are around here. Um yeah, like it's just a lot of political stuff. Um I'm going to try to cross the street over there. I can already see that there's um, we've got some buses. So they've got like the police riot buses down here in case something happens. And then uh, if I pan over to the left over this way, I can see there's like a heavy police presence down there, which is where I'm trying to go. So let's, let's just try. 300 years of Rudolf Lehmann and his family. Wow. Yes. Behind these buildings is actually the LDP headquarters. That's the Liberal Democratic Party's headquarters, and they are the Basically, they've been the ruling party of Japan for who knows how long, like 20, 30 years in a row. Like, they just win every time. Like, Shinzo Abe was a part of that, uh, Suga before him, um, the current prime minister, Kishida, is part of that party. Um, yeah, so that's probably why they have, like, heavy police presence, because it's probably some angry peeps who are not happy with the LDP. 
And it's funny because their their name says Liberal Democratic Party, but they're they don't operate like 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 it's it's different. It, it feels more like Republicans, um, like American Republicans, the way they operate. They're like uh, they're like anti LGBT. Um, they're just like really old cronies. They're all like ushered in like family connections that got them their position. Who was in the power before LDP? I don't know. I wish I knew the history more. Like, I, I didn't really follow politics so much. I don't even follow the politics now. But not so much. Yeah, the Prime Minister Kishida made some comment recently, like last week, that uh, he was like, oh yeah, uh, marriages should be between a man and a woman. Um, I don't support same-sex marriage because uh, it ruins the value of a family and might cause confusion and all this other stuff. And then one of his cabinet members said some really crazy stuff. Is like, I don't want to live next to an LGBT person. Nobody wants to live next to gay people. I hate gay people. And then that guy got fired. <laughs> So I think he's like a scapegoat to like cover Kishida's ass. You know what I mean? Konnichiwa. Hello. Uh, this is a live stream, YouTube. Ah, YouTube? Yeah. Oh, okay. Can I go this way to Hibiya? Oh, okay. Hibiya. This way? Okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, so I knew that they were going to say something. I just spoke English. <laughs> Yeah, I think, uh, so to the left of me is the LDP building, and I think maybe they were just wondering, like, what I was going to do. Like, am I filming the building here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> wow, YouTube? Yeah, I think they're they're kind of trained to know some English because they know tourists and stuff are going to walk around here, so they have to know how to deal with like tourists walking around. You know what I mean? But yeah, um, yeah, all of these buildings and stuff around here, yeah, it's all just like government buildings, Ministry of Land and Affairs, and like Ministry of Foreign Affairs and that kind of shit. The tax offices. Run, Corey. Yeah, we're in Gotham. Exactly. Yeah, that's my, that's my default when police question me. I'm like, oh, what? Oh, I speak English. <laughs> like, I, I'm a tourist. Just to see if they treat me a little nicer. I don't know. Yeah, back in the clay. I think there was like one time where someone who was not the LDP won the election just like once <laughs> for like one little term and then uh, LDP all over again. But yeah, um, the National Diet Building is over there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go this way to the front of it so we can take a look at it. But this is basically Japan's Capitol Hill. Uh, we're on the back side of it. Green. Oh, oh, red, red, red. Oh no, it's red. Ah. <laughs> okay. Um, it says this is the National Diet Library. So I guess it's like a Library of Congress. It's the equivalent on my left side here. Can't see it because these bushes. How lovely. Oh, there it is. What's up, Daniel and Yuka? He did seem pretty chill for a cop defending the LDP. Yeah, he didn't like yell at me or something. It was like, yeah, Arr, filming, oh, ah, and then like swap my hands with a fucking stick or something. Um, yeah, he didn't do anything like that. He was chill. 
Uh, anyways, how are you guys, Daniel and Yuka? Um, yeah, National Diet. That is the name. I don't know why they call it diet. I forget. I, I used to know the reason why it's called diet, but it's basically Capitol Hill. It's the seat of the Japanese government all up in here. It's where all the, the, the representatives and the, the prime minister and all the old cronies and the lawmakers and stuff are in there. And it's where they vote and do all their, I don't know what they do. Give each other money, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, this is the library, the National Diet Library. To my knowledge, this has been closed during the entire pandemic, so you can't really visit it now. Wow, one guy, one guy in your hostel was working for the diet, <laughs> what? And the Todai Law School. Uh, hard to see oh yeah it's not it's like a little bit boring in this area I'm sorry guys but this is the the pathway that we're walking um, across the street directly over there we can see a lot of police there's a police bus um, and then there we can see the side of the the diet building yeah there so that is uh, Japan's capital building the national diet building oh nice Daniel uh, and Yuka yeah chat GTP is uh, GPT is a very useful tool if you utilize it to your needs yeah I've been using it to like correct my or not correct, but like give suggestions to the code that I've been studying. So like gives me hints and stuff, which is pretty cool because I tell it not to give me the direct answer and it doesn't. And I'm like, wow, that's really intelligent. Like, don't tell me the answer. Just give me hints or give me clues. And it does. It works. Nothing's boring in your stream. Oh, thank you, Emmanuel. I appreciate it. Uh, Jay says, I like you show us different areas of Tokyo. Yeah, not, not everything in Tokyo is, you know, little tiny alleys and like neon signs and stuff. LED signs, I should say. Uh, and like shopping and like cool stuff. You know, there's a lot of this kind of stuff too. Just corporate, commercial heavy districts, just buildings and salarymen and government workers and stuff. I'm actually going to go right over here very quickly because there is the geodetic center of Japan is over here. I think I can cross the street this way. Uh, what that means is um, there's a marker there which sets the elevation at zero. And so anything that they measure elevation wise in Japan is referenced from this point. So like Mount Fuji is however many, like 3,000 meters or whatever. Um, they measure from zero, from this park area over here. Think you'll be a mid, uh, think there'll be a, what? Think you'll be a midweek stream too? I can't say, I'm gonna try. I'm definitely gonna try. But it all just, uh, it all just depends on my work schedule. Why do they call it Congress or Parliament? I don't know. I don't know the origin of these words. Uh, I'm gonna assume they somehow date back to the Greek, like they all, like Greek or French. I, I don't know. I, I really don't know. <laughs> I don't know the the history. How do we enter this park on my left? Aloha, Han. How are you? Wow, the geodetic uh, datum for the whole country. Awesome. Yeah, Frank. Yeah, so if you're like into that kind of stuff. Like, 
geo-surveying and whatnot. It's, uh, yeah, I'm trying to go in here, but I don't, are they doing construction? How do I get in here? I think there's a, a path up here. Okay. The word diet derives from Latin and was a common name for an assembly in medieval European uh, politics like the Holy Roman Empire. Thank you, Inca Bear. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Kelsey, I missed your question. I'm sorry. Yeah, I can't see right now. It's very sunny. My eyes are like squinting. Sorry, one second. We're gonna we're coming up to this park. Once I get in the shade, I'll scroll and try to see your question. Yeah, so in this park here. Hold on, I gotta take off my gloves. It's getting hot now. Walking around. Ugh. Wikipedia? Wikipedia is your friend. Uh, yeah, can you repeat it for me, Kelsey? Sorry, I'm taking off my gloves and I gotta open my jacket. It's like really hot now because I've been walking in the sun. The sun's just like baking my jacket. I'm like a little potato wrapped in foil. I think I can walk this way. We're just gonna walk through the forest. F it. Petite is a French royal family in Bon Appetit, so people say to thank us. Wow. Interesting. Uh, are you going to end stream when you meet up with Shusha? I'd love to see her on stream. Uh, I don't know. Um, I'm going to go there. I didn't ask her if she wants to be on stream or not. I don't know how she would feel about that. Oh, there's like a school field trip here. Uh-oh. All right, we got to avoid showing children's faces as much as possible, but... There's probably going to be some children's faces visible. Cylon with the $5, guys. Hearts and chat for Cylon says, buy your friends some fried crickets and corn soup. I think she would probably eat that. You can always just have her out of shot and ask her for consent first. Yeah, I could do that. Um, I don't know if she's going to be there when I arrive. That's the other thing, but we'll, we'll see. Anyways, this is not the geodetic center. This is just a, a big clock here at this park. Yeah, there's like a school field trip going on. Oh, they're having a picnic. It's lunchtime. They're eating lunch. Okay. So what I did want to show you is, oh, okay, there's kids having picnic by the thing that I want to show you. So there's the old geodetic point, the analog one, and then they have a digital one, a more modern one. So let me show you the more modern one first. Uh, Amy, actually just a few, mainly ARC GIS. Yeah, if you're like into GIS and all that stuff, um, this would be very interesting for you here. GNSS cores, Tokyo Chiyoda. The facility is called the Global Navigation Satellite System Continuously Operating Reference Station. Yeah, so this is to measure and monitor the accurate three-dimensional coordinates of the Earth. And um, yeah, so this is like point zero right here for this. Uh, this is the digital one. So we've got uh, solar power panels on it. Yeah, welcome to Elevation Zero. Shushu, what's up? We were just uh, asking about it. Are you at Hibiya Station? I'll be there in a little bit. We were wondering if uh, you don't mind being on the live stream. <laughs> yeah, so this is the digital one here. This is the digital one. If you're into this stuff, this is pretty cool. I'm going to touch it. Ooh, I'm going to rub it. Yeah, look at that. I'm rubbing it. Here's the, here's the number for it and some information about the GPS that I can't read so much. You're having your first Starbucks experience? What? Yeah, so this is pretty cool. If you're, if you're into this kind of stuff, um, it's very, very cool. Now, I think what's even better is the old analog version one is over here. 
but unfortunately we can't see it um, inside of this like mausoleum looking thing they have it like buried inside oh before this used to be open this used to be open and you could see inside the stone marker with the the plate on it that had the information yeah but very cool Uh, Shushu, I don't know where that is. Uh, I thought we were going to meet at Hibiya Station in front of the hotel that I mentioned. <laughs> so, just a Starbucks in front of the palace. I have no idea where that is. Yeah, so here's some more important information if you want to like pause the screen to read it. I'm going to just kind of show it here very quickly. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah, so anyways, it's the origin point for the Japanese vertical datum. All right, maybe, maybe you can, um, yeah, pause the screen and read that if you're into it. But it's here. It's very cool. Please mention the hotel again. It's uh, the Peninsula Hotel at Hibiya Station, exit A7. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that's where we were going to meet. <laughs> um, yeah, let me um, head out of here. I have about 30 minutes left on the stream. So I'm going to head over this way. Uh, Shushu, is it okay? Do you want to be on the live stream at the very end? Just to say hi. Yeah, let me go this way. We're going to go towards... Uh, uh, Kasumigaseki Station. That's actually um, a very scary place to visit just because that's where the 1995 Tokyo like sarin gas attack happened and like 14 people died and like over like almost 6,000 people were completely like really sick. Uh, I think a thousand were like critically like near death. Um, yeah, that was a scary time. I was in I was in a seventh grade or eighth grade. I was in eighth grade when it happened in Yokosuka. And so they had the announcement on the school system and they told everybody, don't take the trains home, um, call your parents and other stuff like that. So, okay, thanks. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, message her on Instagram uh, like after my stream, but I think we're gonna go this way. Um, I wonder, can I go this way? I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna ask if I can like take a picture or something. I wonder if they'll let me. Yeah. So, uh, so this is uh, the diet building here. Can you see? Is it okay to take picture? Oh, thank you. Yeah, so uh, the diet diet building. Yeah, this is uh, the Japanese national diet building. This is basically Hill, like cap the Capitol building. Cong Japanese Congress is there. Yeah, so, um, yeah, we're gonna go this way, uh, towards Kasumigaseki Station. Um, yeah, the, the cult, Oshinikyo, was responsible for the gas attack. There was even one in Nagano in 1994. I think, like, eight people died in that one. But, yeah, that was, uh, that was crazy. I remember when that happened. Yeah, and then, um, I don't know, do you guys remember when I live streamed in Ayase, like Kitasenju Ayase, and we went by the prison, the Tokyo prison, it's a very big prison, that's actually where Shoko Asahara, he was the leader of the cult, uh, him and like two of his like top dogs or whatever, they were uh, executed there, 
that's where they were held after the Tokyo gas attacks and then I forget what year they were executed. You, your knowledge about buildings and history? Well, thank you. Uh, I'm not, I am not an expert in history or anything like that or buildings. Like I, I can't tell you when these buildings were made or what architectural style they're in. But um, just to give you guys some reference, some information about what we see along the way, you know, it's better than nothing, you know what I mean? So I try. But yeah, let's, uh, we're gonna try to go to Kasumigaseki Station. I think it's that way. Yeah, it should be this way. はい、すみません。えっと、霞ヶ関駅はどうやって行きますか霞ヶ関。はい。中学。霞ヶ関だったら、うちの方になるんですけど。あ、そうです。あ。北海道。北海道駅。はい。こっちの奥田って言っても
。はい。じゃあ、あそこで。そこは、高速道路なんで。じゃあ、ま、まっすぐ。あ、まっすぐ。まっすぐ、丁目ってことに行くんですよ。あ,あ、すみません携帯とか持ってますあ、はい、今、できないですそれで、あ、できないはい行くあ、大丈夫です,あ,夫ですあ,ありがとうございます That cop is useless He didn't know where it was And he doesn't have a cell phone So he's pulling out like a pocket map book And he's like flipping through the map book And he can't find This location, and then he asked me,、oh, Do you have a cell phone? And I was just like, I can't. I'm like live streaming, and then like that's it. And I was just, the light turned green, and I was just like, You know what? Thanks, whatever. <laughs> How does the cop not know where the Kasumiga Eki station, uh, like, blah, 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 I can't speak. How does he not, wear,、um, not know where Kasumiga Eki station is? <laughs> what kind of cop is that? Yo, AJ, what's up? That <laughs> he's just standing on there on that box and he doesn't know the area he's in. Wow, amazing! Yeah, modern Japan, he's got like a map book, like there's a little pocket map book, and he was like flipping through it and he couldn't find the page for this location. Ah. <laughs>、uh. You can't check on your phone two seconds. Oh、uh, no, it's okay. Yeah, I can't, I can't really do much while I'm live streaming because then it pauses the stream or, or it might disconnect the stream. So, yeah, I don't have a second phone. I'm not rich or anything like that. But,、uh, anyways, I think it's over here. Yeah, these are all government office buildings. These are all like different ministries around here. Yeah, his job is whacking baddies. Yeah, I guarantee he has a cell phone. Guar- why, why would he not have a cell phone, right? He could have easily just checked. But it's okay. Anyways,、um, <laughs> wow, amazing. I think the station is like up around here. Yeah, I'm, I'm like pretty sure it's in this area. Ministry, great band. You binged,、uh, uh, Point Dexter says, I binged all your walking tours this past week and thank you for the great videos. You're welcome. Thank you for watching all that content. That's a lot of hours of me just babbling. I am so sorry for all that babbling. Yeah, you guys okay, chat?、Uh, Shushu, I'm, if you're still there, I'm trying to make my way there. I'll be, I'll be there shortly. Like, I don't know exactly how long, but I should be there in a little bit. Oh, so, this bus stop says Kasumigaseki. So, yeah, we are, we are in the, the general area.、Uh, oh, is the light green? Can I cross? Oh, go, 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 go. Uh, uh, it's flashing. It's flashing. Yeah, okay. So, we are here. This is like. This is ground zero for the Tokyo gas attack.、Uh, there's an entrance right there for Kasumiga、uh, Seki Station. Let me, let me cross over this way. So, yeah, this is where the Tokyo gas attack happened in 1995. Of course, it was you know, underground in the subway station. But just being in this area is kind of crazy to think about, even so many years later, you know? Maybe he doesn't take public transportation. I don't know. Where? <laughs> How did he get to work? <laughs> Pretty sure he、uh, took a train. Yeah, if I look、uh, out this way, I can see like、uh, Toranomon 
area, all those buildings. Down, whoa. Yeah, Ropongi and stuff is down there. Is it his first day? Yeah, that would suck. Maybe they rotate like posts and that was his first time at that post. So he didn't really know. But yeah, so this is it. Kasumigaseki Station. Is there a memorial for the attack? I wonder, Liz. I didn't see anything when I looked online. It was just saying like it happened here. I don't know if there's like a marker or some kind of like plaque or memorial like down inside of the station itself. Yeah, but we can see like uh, businessmen and stuff coming up the stairs. Yeah, so there's a lot of government buildings. There's like a courthouse and stuff. Um, Environmental Dispute Coordination Commission, Japan Fair Trade Commission, the Consumer Affairs Agency, yeah, Internal Affairs, the Tokyo High District Summary Court, yeah, Patent Offices around here, Ministry of Economy, Trade and Industry, the Metropolitan Police Department headquarters is here. Like all that stuff is here. Ministry of the Environment, the Board of Audits, Financial Services Agency, National Police Agency. It's all here. Um, Jim and Harriet with the $5. Thank you, thank you guys. Hearts and chat. It says, Gasm, we have been watching some of your old videos from Korea and Vietnam. Great stuff. Thank you. Yeah, the older Corey streams and the older Corey content. Glad you uh, went back in time and saw some of that older stuff that uh, I made. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty boring around here. <laughs> there's just, there's nothing except these buildings. I know it's cool for you guys to see because uh, obviously not many people show these things, I don't think. Central Government Building Number One. This is Ministry of Agriculture, Forestry, and Fisheries. This building. So yeah, it's directly on top of Kasumigaseki Station where the Tokyo sarin gas attack happened. Ministry of Redundancy, Elimination, and Eradication. Yeah, they're probably using Hanko and uh, floppy disks and fax machines to do all their paperwork and they print out emails <laughs> it's pretty quiet uh shushu you're there okay hang tight i'm gonna i'm trying to make my way to you i'll be there in a little bit okay very soon YouTube randomly suggests some of my old videos. Really back in the clay? Like a place with an interesting squirting fountain. Oh yeah, the penis restaurant in Korea. That thing, yeah. <laughs> you know what's weird is I made that video and then like four or five years went by. And then finally, like it only had like a thousand views. And then it somehow it went viral in India because a lot of people were sharing it on WhatsApp or something. And there was a lot of homophobic comments about it, like, ew, penis, and all this other stuff. And, uh, yeah, then, uh, then it reached, that's what broke it over a million views. It was a bunch of, like, just homophobic Indian guys on WhatsApp. <laughs> okay, Shushu, I'll see you in a little bit. See you soon. <laughs> it's getting recommended. Uh, what is this? I can't read the kanji. There's some protest stuff going on here. Some political stuff. I don't know what this is. I'm trying to see what it is, but I don't know. Stuff about money. 
So it's in front of this building here. What is this? Is this like Ministry of Finance or something? Secretly thirsting? Yeah, probably. Uh, hey Heather, how you doing? So peaceful and beautiful there. Why is Tokyo so quiet? Well, it's quiet in this area and especially right now because it is Monday morning. So everyone's in the offices. There's really nothing around here. So you don't see like young people coming here for shopping. There's no shopping here. So that's why it's pretty quiet right now. But if I was to go to like Shinjuku or Shibuya or some of those other more popular areas, yeah, it'd probably be like still noisy and some music playing and shops and stuff and people walking around. Yeah, the Vietnam apartment video is like getting kind of like close to 3 million views, which is crazy. Because that video is from like 2018 or something. Yeah, here's a big red brick building. I forget if this is uh, the like with the police or something. Uh, oh, you know what? I think this is the police headquarters right here. This one. This tall building is the police. But this red one, I forget what's in it. But uh, it was built by the same architect who did uh, Tokyo, Tower, uh, Tokyo Station. Shibuya. This is the National Police Agency? Okay. Or you mean the big one. What is this one? It's pretty cool. But yeah, you can see it's got like the same kind of architectural design elements and stuff as uh, Tokyo Station. I don't see any, I'm looking for the signs on there. I can't read the kanji. I'm sorry. I should, <laughs> I need to learn how to read kanji. Te, how you doing? I love Corey's Vietnam videos too, guys. Nice. Yeah, Vietnam was a great country. Lots of interesting stuff to film, but unfortunately it was just not a, a country I was meant to live in for more than two years. It was, it was time. I had to leave. Uh, oh, that's right, fungus. Yeah, so that same architect did the, yeah, the presidential building in Taipei. I've been by that. I've walked by there. It was so humid when I walked by there. Who was the architect? Kengo Kuma? Ah, you know, I, I honestly can't remember the name. I'm sorry. Um, they also did a Seoul station, the original Seoul station in Korea. There's a modern one too, but it's not that. Uh, in important cultural property, old Ministry of Justice building. Oh, this was designed by two German architects, Hermann End and Wilm Bakum, who were invited. Uh, oh, so Kozo Kawaii, that's his name. Kozo Kawaii. So they, the, the German people worked with Kozo Kawaii to design that stuff. So I guess it's not Kengo Kuma. Okay. But anyways, uh, 1895. A lot of it was destroyed in the Kanto earthquake in 1923, and then they kind of rebuilt a lot of it. So, yeah. Um, Anyways, we're going to be coming up upon the end of the video soon. Um, over here is the Imperial Palace. This is the, the Imperial Palace. If I zoom in, you can see the, the giant wall and the hills and stuff. There's a huge moat that runs along the, the whole perimeter of the Imperial Palace. And if I go straight this way, we're going to run into Hibia Park. And then uh, the Peninsula Hotel uh, should be straight ahead. And that's where Shushu is. Yeah, so what, what did you guys think of today's stream? I'm sorry it's a, it's a shorter stream, but um, yeah, it's, it's some stuff that you probably wouldn't have seen in other videos, right? kind of the boring political center of Tokyo with freaking laser beams on their head. Yeah, sharks are in there. Yep.
You want a palace with a moat? Me too. Let's do it. That's shoo shoo ballin. <laughs> oh. Better to be short than non existent. Yeah, that's true. Missed a big chunk of it, had an emergency. Oh, sorry, Mike. Yeah, hopefully you can go back and kind of rewatch what was missed. You'll say hi on the stream. Nice, Shushu. Yay. Yay, yay, yay. I'm almost there. I can, I can see the hotel. I'll be there very soon. Yeah, so you guys get to see and meet uh, one of the Moist Fam members, Shushu. She's from Germany. And she's visiting Japan. No rush? Yeah, I'm, I'm almost there, so it's okay. I'll be there in like, I don't know, less than 10 minutes. <laughs> Shushu stream. Yeah, you guys get to say hi to Shushu. Yeah. But uh, looking over this way, this is the Marunochi side of Chiyoda over here. A lot of uh, beautiful buildings and stuff. Uh, Tokyo Station is over there. Yeah, so whenever I walk around there, I definitely get those Chicago vibes. Downtown city vibes. Nice, Mike. Thank you. <clears throat> Next week's live stream will be during the Super Bowl, but for legal reasons, we must refer to it as the Superb Owl. Okay, sure. Uh, let me, for just to keep it a little interesting, I'm gonna walk through Hibiya Park. Yeah, if I kept to the sidewalk that was out there, it's pretty boring and very loud because of the cars. But if we go through here, we can see just a little bit of Hibiya Park. Very big park uh, right outside of uh, the Imperial Palace. I like this park a lot. Yeah, so when, when I meet up with Shushu, we're going to walk around to like Yurakucho and Ginza and stuff like that. Um, there's a lot of old stuff here. There's this drinking fountain that was for horses. It's still here. Of course, it's not in operation. But this was for horses back in the day. A little rusty horse water fountain. I sure know Tokyo well. Thank you. Uh, I'm still learning every day, every week. I go out, I try to learn something new, and then uh, share it with you guys when I do my live streams and stuff. So I am definitely not a Tokyo expert, but yeah, we're, we're well on our way, I guess. Still learning. There's always something to learn, guys. Um, if you come here in the spring, it's very nice. There's a lot of sakura trees and stuff here. The cherry blossoms are very beautiful. Yeah, you got people playing tennis and stuff. Very nice Monday afternoon. <laughs> you can lead a horse to a fountain, but you can't prevent tetanus. Exactly. Oh look, it looks, uh, it looks like a heart in this tree. It's cute. Uh, what's the weather? Um, right now it's pretty warm. I don't know, it was like zero degrees Celsius when I left my house, but now that it's just been sunny and whatnot, um, I'd say it's probably like five, six degrees or something. It's supposed to be up to 13 later. 
Uh, let me go this way. Yo, Troy, how you doing? Yeah, we're almost to the end of my live stream. I'm sorry, it's not a, it's not a full three hour stream today. We're doing like just an hour and a half ish. A fitting knot hole for the season, indeed. Valentine's. Yep. Nice, nice park space. The Pelican water fountain. And then uh, across the way is the, uh, there's like a Hebea shopping plaza thing over there. I forget what it's called. But it's got a lot of different cool balcony stuff over there with greenery on it. Yeah, this plant is huge. Yeah, this is a uh, agave. Huge agave, I think. I'm pretty sure it is. Yep. There's this uh, restaurant here. They do uh, weddings. You can have like a, it's kind of like a cabin thing. Yeah, so they'll have like outdoor wedding ceremonies and stuff here. Um, they've got nice like fairy lights and all that stuff. A little wedding venue. Yeah, the birds are screaming and squawking and stuff. Yo, Fungus with the $22. Guys, hearts in chat for Fungus. Says, uh, get some coffee for yourself in Shushu. Extra $2 adjusted for Ginza inflation. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we'll, we'll get some coffee. Arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Yep, we've got a little pond here. There's some turtles and stuff, like ducks, in this uh, little pond here. Masterport, how you doing? How you doing, Jasmine? Alma, hello. Yep, so this hotel right here, this is the Peninsula, Tokyo Peninsula Hotel. This hotel is really expensive. It's like a thousand or two thousand dollars a night to stay in this hotel. Uh, I actually streamed inside the lobby before. It had the live music on a balcony above the, the lobby cafe and they had a, the weird like light thing on the top. Christmas trees. Uh, Jay Karen with the 14 uh, Canadian dollars. Thank you. Arigato, guys. Hearts in chat for Jay Karen. Arigato gozaimasu. Thank you, thank you. Yep, so we're gonna go over there. This is uh, where Shushu's gonna be at. Oh, I see her. I can see her. Let me try to see if I can zoom in. Or we can see see her. <laughs> She's waving. <laughs> oh god. Wait, where is she? She was waving. Oh, I lost her. <laughs> I, I don't see her. Where'd she go? <laughs> I lost track. She was hiding. She was hiding behind a tree. <laughs> yeah. She was waving and then she hid behind a, a tree. Um, yeah, so this hotel, yeah, this, some of the rooms facing this way, they get a nice, nice view of the palace, the Imperial Palace grounds and stuff. Like a lot of these hotels in and around here, yeah, it's super expensive to stay in. German Ninja, yeah. So if we go down this way, it's, uh, it goes directly to Ginza. So we can actually see uh, the Fujiya Candy Company building there. And yeah, Ginza's just right down the street.
yeah so um there she is <laughs> hi yeah swanky hotel swanky swanky hotel hi shoo shoo hi shoo shoo is it okay to be on camera yeah. okay hi 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 how are I you doing some coffee on my jacket Oh really? Uh, uh, here we can we can look this way, and this is the microphone. Okay. Yeah. Say say hi to say hi to the chat. Hi chat. <laughs> You're so shy. Yes. It's like hi chat. Yeah. Everybody say hi to Shushu. Hello. Hello, Bunny says hi Shushu. Uh, hi Bunny. Hello everyone. Yeah. Good morning. What what kind of are you okay? You spilled coffee yeah, on you? Yeah. Somewhere here. I don't know where. Uh, it's, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, how's your morning? Good. I went Good. to Tokyo Tower. This morning? At six or seven. Oh my, it's so early. Yeah. Sorry, it's very noisy. Should we keep walking a little bit? Or yeah, do you want to end the stream? Yeah, I'm going to end the stream. So, but anyways, guys, yeah, I, we met Shushu. There she is. Yay. Hello. Yay, Japan. Yay, in Japan. <laughs> but uh, I just want to say thank you so much, guys, for watching today's stream. Uh, Kelsey says no, she's a friend of the stream. Yeah, this is a, a moist member fan. Uh, moist member family member. Wait, I can't say that right. Moist fan member. Yes. <laughs> and she's also part of the Minecraft crew. Yay! Yay, Minecraft. Minecraft. Join the moist fam. Moist fam. <laughs> so, um, yeah, thank you guys for watching today's stream. And uh, I'm going to go hang out with Shushu. We're going to go explore Tokyo and have a fun time. Yeah, so thank you for watching. Uh, I'll see you guys next time, okay? Thanks Bye. for tuning in. See you. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe. Say bye to Shushu. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> Say bye. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Sorry. <laughs> no, it's all good. You can see the, the chat. Mm. Yeah. Bye, Shushu. That's Kelsey. Bye, Shushu. Bye. There's Sandwich. Says, I'm at the end again. Yeah, Joey, you're always late. What Joey. The, what the hell? <laughs> Ario, good goodbye. See you guys. Yep, bye bye. See you. See bye. you next time.